Roseanne, well, I'd like to see what's in her draft folder, you know? Like... <laughs> If that's the one she tweeted, you know, there's a lot of hashtag free speeches. <laughs> Man, Twitter has ended more careers than overseas factories. It is rough out there. Like, stay off Twitter. <laughs> Technology, that's what it is though. We're trying to adjust. Like right now, there's some dude sitting, you know, his balls are out. He's on the couch and he's watching me right now and he's in 3D virtual reality. We're trying to adjust to this period, man. This is like a paradigm shift in reality right now. That's why, every, you know, we're just narcissists, all of us. We can't handle the internet. It's making us all crazy, right? I was like walking down the street, there was like these three girls trying to get a selfie of themselves and they were like posing, you know? And I was walking by, I was in a rush, but they're like, excuse me, can you take a photo of us? And I was like, yeah, I'll take a quick photo, you know? So I took a photo and they're like, ah, you can't just take one. Can you just take like three, four hundred and say like, can you just roam around the street, you know? Just, you know, just kind of just get it to good. I was like, no, no. Like, you get one photo. I'm a, I'm a stranger on the street. I, I don't work for you. This isn't a fucking photo shoot. You know, your double chin, that's your problem. That's not my problem. She's like, you took it too low. You can't, everybody knows that's a bad angle. You're gonna get my cluck cluck. You gotta lift it, just higher, just from this angle, the skinny angle, just lift it. Like, just, can you just go across the street in that building on the fourth floor, just take it? <laughs> take it from that guy's bedroom apartment, maybe you can just knock on the door, hang off the windowsill, get some good, maybe you could rent a drone, just drift around, fucking. They were like, we didn't even get a chance to set up, you took it too quick. And then they started posing, and I was like, I felt like I was looking at four crazy people, you know? And then I realized that pose is very well thought out. Like, ladies, you figured it out, you know? That pose, it's all about creating an illusion of taking up as little space as possible. <laughs> Everything is well engineered, you know? You guys look great, but you guys, you'll never pose straight, this angle, straight on. Cause like, you guys are psychotic, you know? You think you look too big or something, but you don't. So you do this kind of like uh, tricky little Instagram turn to the side, right? head up to tighten the jaw, very smart, you know? Right, arch back, tits and ass out, but stomach in, like. I don't even know how it's possible. You kind of end up looking like a minotaur or something. Then there's always that one leg up for some reason, this little sleeping horse kick, this little, just little. And then you like dislocate your shoulder and like throw it high on your backside. <laughs> Forget about gun control, we need some photo control. I think there should be a four picture limit on your camera when you turn it to your own face. Cause let's be honest, like if you can't get the selfie in four pictures, Maybe you're just not that good looking. <laughs> At that point, there should be a voice that comes out of the camera. Bitch, it's not us. It's you, all right? Like, not everybody's camera ready. You're more of a writer. You're a producer. You're what we call below the line talent in the business. That's what it is. We're just trying to figure out the net, too. I mean, look, how convenient is our life? It's making us crazy, you know? It's like, just when you think something's as convenient as can be, some kid figures out a way to make it more convenient. I used to think like food delivery was the apex of convenience. I was like, this can't get any more convenient. You know, you call a restaurant, you know, dude delivers the food right to your doorstep. But some kid was sitting there going like, nah, like, why would you want to call? You know, like. <laughs> like why would you want to use your mouth to talk, you know? Like, you're gonna be using it later to eat. Why would you wanna use it for two different purposes? Like, what is this, like a North Korean prison camp or something? Like, I love Seamless. Oh, how great is Seamless? Grubhub, delivery apps. Oh, it's almost like their whole business model is like, are you tired of making eye contact with the delivery guy? Are you tired of having to get dressed and put pants on to answer the door? 
Because now you don't have to. All you got to do is crack your door open three inches and pull your food in like a prisoner in solitary confinement. I haven't seen a delivery guy in four years. I don't know who's out there. It could be a baby or a ghost. Occasionally, I'll just see knuckles slide past my lock as I pull the food in like a troll living in the attic. Just kick the door, Clay. Sorry, fuck face. The math's already done. Tip's already worked out. I'm actually playing this little game with myself. Like, I swear to God, like I'm trying to see how little clothing I can get away with. You know, not having on without the delivery guy noticing. I swear to God, I'm down to one sock, like, on my dick, like a red hot chili pepper. Like, I answered the door like flea on tour. Guy had no idea. If you've never ordered food completely butt naked, you have to try it. Like, it's a beautiful moment where you really realize how comfortable we have become as a society. You know, like, I don't even need to have clothes on to get fed, you know? Can you imagine if somebody comes back in a time machine from the past, how confused they would be, right? They're just like, all right, how do you guys eat? Like, where's the farm? Is there a farm out back? Or like, where's the food come from? You're like, nah, dude, watch this. Tell me what you want to eat. Dream it up, just dream it up. All right, now get naked, food's on the way. Just take your clothes off, man.